Hello and welcome to this little video that I hope will help anyone who's having the same problem I had, which is the zero kill by glitch. Before I get into this, I want to stress that there are other possible ways for this glitch to trigger. This is just how I was able to find out and solve the problem. Now, first off, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, the zero kill by glitch is, is a glitch that occurs when you have mods or creation club content on your console and you try to save. Sometimes, you'll get a notification saying that you don't have enough space to save, and you need to delete zero kilobytes worth of space. Basically saying you need to delete nothing in order to save. Which, doesn't make much sense, right? Now, bear in mind this. I have an external hard drive of three terabytes. I have one and a half terabytes left because I have a lot of games. I have plenty of space to save plus the internal multiple gigabytes on my console. So I have plenty of space to save, so that's not, was, that was no problem. Now, I was able to play Fallout 4 with no problems before Creation Club came out with mods downloaded. So I was fairly certain that Creation Club content was causing the glitch to occur. So, in order to find out what was causing this, I completely deleted Fallout 4 from my console. This includes system data, everything. I even de de deleted it from the cloud. And redownloaded it all. This time though, I only installed Creation Club content, the ones I had. And sure enough, by the time I got to Concord, I was starting to get the glitch to reoccur, which is very annoying. So, in order to find out which Creation Club content was causing this problem, I redeleted everything, system data, everything, redownloaded Fallout 4, and individually reinstalled each Creation Club content and leaving the Creation Club menu. Whenever I had a corrupted, uh, corrupted file that caused this glitch, any modifications to mod load order or reinstalling a Creation Club content would cause my game to freeze upon leaving the uh, assigned menu. So say I, re I download a mod and reorder it so it's in the proper order. I leave, Fall 4 freezes. Or I download the Black Lab mod, uh, Creation Club content, leave the Creation Club menu, freezes. So, I knew that upon leaving the menu, if the console froze, I found the mod that was causing the glitch. The mod that I found causing the glitch was the Hot Rod Pink Weapon Skin mod. So, in order to test my theory, I deleted everything again, reinstalled it, and reinstalled creation club content that weren't weapon skins or armor skins. So, power horse armor, Chinese um, stealth suit, stuff like that I redownloaded. Anti-material rifle, love that rifle. And I was so confident that this mod was causing the glitch that I reinstalled all of my mods that I used previously as well. And I played through the game. Lo and behold, I was able to beat the entire game, including DLC, with no problems whatsoever, except for the occasional, you know, Bethesda game glitch where the game crashes. That, you know, is kind of par for the course, and I had that before mods even came out to consoles. So, I found out through this trial and error process that the Hot Rod Pink weapon skin was causing my game to have the zero kill by glitch. Now, I want to make, sh I want to preface this. I'm fairly certain this mod is, this Creation Club content is okay to use in general. What I believe it is the problem is that it is causing an internal conflict with other weapon skin mods. So, my advice in order to avoid the zero kilobyte glitch is to delete everything, reinstall Fallout 4, make sure you delete the system data as well, that way it completely makes a new file. Then, Reinstall all of your Creation Club content, but avoid weapon and armor skins. Pit Boy skins are fine, because I was able to do that just fine. But avoid the weapon skin, specifically the Hot Rod Pink, just in case it is causing the problems specifically. Now, there are other problems that could cause this glitch to occur, such as mods conflicting with Creation Club content. Or even mod lo load order, which was a major problem with Skyrim Special Edition. So, make sure that your Creation Club content doesn't have weapon or armor skins, and your mod load order is correct. There are plenty of videos on YouTube uh, showing you how to do the mod load order and make it safe. So, 
keep that in mind when you're trying to do this. And I hope that this helps someone else.